Up next, one of the youngest guests ever on NASA Edge, Elmo. A fellow redhead from Sesame Street. He's also shorter than you are, and he can count higher. Wow, that's just wrong. We're actually glad for the for the warmth because that means the sun's out and it means we might actually be able to launch today. Oh, we will launch! Oh, I love your optimism. Yeah. Are, you, are you excited you. about this? Uh, oh, Elmo's Atlanta? very, very excited because Elmo normally watches this on TV. <laughs> so to, to be here, it's really exciting. Awesome. Now, so you, you've you seen a shuttle launch, but never one in person. No. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Have you? Uh, yes, I've seen two, I believe. Really? Three. 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 Yeah. This will be my fourth. That's so, cool. Yeah, it's very exciting. And this exciting. one is called Atlantis. Yes. Yeah, very good. Very good. Very good. I'm heard that they're named after um, ships. That's correct. Why? That's, a, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. But why? <laughs> oh, because well, they're uh, like ships. That's a good question. And, huh? and those yeah. ships used to explore. Oh, they're uh, like explore. ships? Yeah, yeah, the old ships. But they're not in the water. Right. They're well, they go up in the air. That's true. That's right, and they go in the space. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the difference. That's one of the differences, yeah. yes. And I'm ahead, what is it, 135 flights on the shuttle program? Yes. That's a lot. <laughs> Would you like to go into space one day? Oh, I would love to. Yeah. yeah ha uh, have you been there? No. I, I can't no. say. Well, we don't know about him. He's from parts unknown. <laughs> oh, really? In fact, I had a question for you. Okay, go ahead. Shoot. Now, he's got red hair. And we were just wondering if there's any... Maybe you guys are related somehow? Well, it's not red enough. <laughs> <laughs> no. Believe me. I, and it's getting uh, less red all really? the time. Yeah. yeah, age does that to you. Uh, sound like 40-something. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, old. Well, you know, I'm going to win inside the space shuttle Discovery. Really? It was really cool. Wow. Now, how did you do that? Yeah. Well, well they let Elmo in. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Elmo met a lot of nice people at NASA, too. Mm. Who are some cool people you've uh, met so far? Oh, oh, well, well, Elmo met Mr. Mike Mazzamino. Oh, <laughs> we love Mr. Mazzamino. Oh, and Elmo got to meet his daughter, too. Oh, she's oh, really? nice, too. He's a crazy astronaut, isn't he? No, he's really funny. He's funny, yeah. isn't he? He's also tall. Yes. Yeah. And, and you he, know, Elmo didn't know that they use math and science every day. All the time. They have careers as scientists, engineers, and of course, astronauts. <laughs> and technology. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So you like math and science? Yeah, Elmo does. Elmo <laughs> loves counting. <laughs> how, how high can you count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's it. Very good. That's, that's yeah. very good. That's faster than you. Yeah, and really? probably more accurate. Yeah. <laughs> well, who is this? Well, we wanted to have you meet Spooner. Spooner is Hello, Spooner. <laughs> he doesn't really talk, though. That's yeah, I can't like, hear anything yeah, yeah. from him. No. Uh, Spooner is actually our mascot, and uh, he, he comes with us everywhere we go. What's a mascot? Well, he's uh, he sort of represents our, our, our program. He's uh, he's a very cool guy. He's he goes everywhere. Uh, he gets in trouble quite a bit. Really? And yes. so yeah, we ha we always have to discipline him uh, everywhere we go because he's always uh, hanging around and, and, and climbing on the things and so. And he loves bananas. He loves bananas. If you really, if you leave a banana out at breakfast and you turn away, you come back, it's gone. He's had the banana. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now how many? I'm gonna think it's it's four astronauts. Mm -hmm. Yes, four astronauts. Up? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Is that normally the, the the only count? You can't get more or less. Well, four? actually, no. For this mission, uh, there's only four, but usually it's around seven seven astronauts on a. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 Well, why four? Well, why, well, why four is because uh, we actually are carrying up more equipment this time, and in fact, and also oh, so we, they need you need room for we, other we, things. We need more weight. Plus, we you know this is the last shuttle mission, so in case something happens with the shuttle, yeah. we don't have more you know, more astronauts to leave on station. Right, and they're they're bringing back some stuff that's, too. That's right. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're replacing a, a pump of some kind, I believe. They're bringing back, and and they don't want to leave it out in space anymore, so they bring it back. And then well, where are they getting it from? From the ISS. <laughs> the International Space Station. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yes. Elmo thought it was a hotel or something. <laughs> well, it's well, kind of yeah. like a hotel. Well, do you really? know what? One yeah. day, Elmo, we may have hotels in space. you imagine that? No, really? Can you it's, imagine it's taking true. a vacation one day where you just call up and you may have a space yeah, let's go to a something? Holiday Inn or something <laughs> in space. <laughs> they could. We, so you, could, you, could put, you could book a weekend getaway. That would be cool. It would. Yeah, and with the miles you have to fly to get there, you would earn your room. You probably wouldn't even have to pay for it. That's right. Really? <laughs> yeah, it would be free space miles. Yeah, you get fly you know, to the You know, I'm thinking about a ladder. They were talking about building a ladder that could go all the way up in space. Oh, the space elevator. Yeah, space elevator. Very oh, good. Really? That would mm -hmm. take a long time to climb up it, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, how would you build something like that? Oh, well, uh, that's it, a good it, question. It's somebody above my pay grade who would be able to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe you can help out one day. 
Because all that science, math, here. and technology that you're going to be learning. That's yeah. what you have to do. You yeah. have to study in school. Don't yes. do what I did and just play all the time. you got to actually apply yourself. Learn yeah. your math and science. I'm going to hike that, that when it goes up, it actually lands back here in Florida. It yeah, sure isn't that neat? That's cool. Isn't it? You know, it doesn't have to land in Florida. No, I'm going to hide that too. It, it, can, it can land in California too. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, then it, and it gets on board a 747, a big jumbo jet, and it flies back over to, to Kennedy. That's how it gets back here? Yep. Yes. Wow, that's cool. I didn't know that. Isn't it? And, and, it, and maybe we'll show you, uh, maybe show that aircraft one day. That would be cool. You, you it, is really, it. it is really an awesome really? vehicle because yeah. inside there aren't seats like in a regular jet uh, airplane that you fly on. It's all empty because it had to be reinforced to carry the shuttle back and forth. Yeah. Wow. But really you, fun stuff. But you're well, this is really fascinating. <laughs> but you're well on your way, Elmo, because you already got the flight suit on. You got yeah, the hat. Yeah, they made this for Elmo. Isn't that cool? You're yeah. ready to and go. And Elmo got the orange one, too. The orange <laughs> the flat. The desert flat. Yeah. yeah, the one that they, like that, the orange one. Yeah. Like, the, the, like, like, like your friend has one. Yes. Yeah. That's the the Desert Rats uniform. Have oh, you is heard? That what, why did they call it that? Well, it's the Desert's Research and... Uh -oh, uh -oh. He's talking about the orange flight suits on the, on the shuttle. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, that's, that's out of my page. False information! <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's actually not false information because the ones they use aren't like the flight suit material. I mean, they've got all the valves and gadgets. Hey, no and arguing, everything. okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, no arguing. Hey, Elmo, do you do counseling? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Elmo, we, we're, we're so glad you had a chance to stop by with us today. Oh, well, thanks uh, for having me, Elmo. And I hope oh, you enjoy the great. launch in, oh, in, in, in less than a half hour. And, okay. And you, are you going to scream really loud when it goes up? Of course. Elmo's going to say bye. <laughs> See you soon. Are you, you, you going to do the countdown for us? When you yes. Elmo can't wait to do that. Why don't you do a practice for us to okay. the audience? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! There you go. We even have sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, hey, Elmo's going to go and see his mommy and daddy now. Yes. Okay, okay Elmo. And say hello for us. Uh, thanks for talking to him. Oh. And thanks. you take care too, monkey. <laughs> What's his name again? His name's Spooner. Okay, take care, Spooner. Hey, you're watching NASA Ed. An inside and outside look at all things NASA. Thanks yeah, baby. <laughs>